Hey guys, I just wanted to show you something that I threw together the other day for fun. I actually bought these stands from Texas Speed, I think. They bolt to the motor on both sides and you can uh, stand up a motor. It's pretty nice for getting them around instead of like plopping them on a tire. And then I welded like $2 Harbor Freight wheels on it so you can push it around. It's pretty nice. But what I did the other day is I had a short micro squirt harness like a three foot or shorter and I wired it up to this motor here this is like a spare that I have and I want to actually get it to the point where I can remove everything with the intake so I kept everything like centralized here I'm using the stock one bar map sensor just to fire these motors and then I got the IAT in there like I always do and TPS is wired in throttle body isn't even bolted on and then uh, coolant temp is there all the stock this actually has the stock injectors in there. And then I got all the injectors wired up. And then just ground it on the back. And another neat thing you can see is that's where the micro squirt reads the crank position sensor. Right there. And then I mounted the fuse panel. I just screwed it down on top of the intake. And then I have everything wired up to the coil outputs too. So that should all be ready to go. And then I just have a thick power wire on here. I can just touch that and then wire up to uh, this battery here and hit it off the starter. The only thing I'm waiting to do is this fuel rail is foobarred on this thing and it's missing some fittings. So I gotta get a replacement part for that so then we can pump some fuel through it. I might use like a little coolant reservoir to pump the fuel in and return it like a half gallon or something. And then uh, we can fire these motors with just the vacuum map sensor and wah wah we can rev the shit out of them. I'm thinking I'm gonna use some manifolds over here. I got manifolds and water pumps and shit. Uh, get some of these manifolds, put them together and run them through a spare muffler I have laying around. And through the muffler we should be able to hear, I mean you could run an open header but then the motor's so loud you won't be able to hear like if there's a lift or tick or something like that. And what would be really nice is if we fire these motors in the stand. Sounds like something shitty with them. You can take them apart really easily on this engine stand and fix it before you, you know, waste time slamming it in uh, your Fairmont or something. So that's just something neat. Hopefully I can get that going in maybe a week. I'm gonna buy some more micro squirt stuff. This week, if everything goes good, I sold a bunch of them and uh, people have seemed to like them so far. Everything's going good. So I'm not the prettiest wiring person, but Maybe I should just leave them unmanaged so people can loom them themselves and everything. But that's this is something neat I just wanted to show you. It'll be cool. I'll just mount the ECU right to the intake also. And then we should be able to start the motors on a stand, which will be pretty cool. I think that'll make a neat video. And then I'll make everything so that it's pretty much you just unplug the coils, the crank position down there, and that coolant temp, and you should be able to lift the whole ECU and wiring and everything out with the intake and then just slam it on another motor, hook it up and then you're ready to go. So that'll be neat to test that.